my gosh, sewing friends, look at this other orchid that popped up on another tree. Now, I had been eyeing that knot of like uh, tangled up roots and just watching it to see if it was going to grow. And I think it grew last night or something because I'm sure this wasn't here yesterday. Hi sewing friends, welcome to my channel. My name's Karina from Lifting Pins and Needles. I am back outside under the trees in my backyard with my little orchid friend right there. The last time I was here, I filmed my September plans and when I went back in the house, I had like spiders on me, all sorts. I see mosquitoes flying around. I'm gonna be eaten alive, but all for the sake of showing you a different area. <laughs> There's even a mosquito standing on my screen finder. Oh, disgusting. <sighs> you know mosquitoes here carry all sorts of diseases, so I'm definitely scared of them. Anyway, I am here to show you a denim skirt. I made this skirt out of uh, the Murphy pattern. Um, so you don't need a specific pattern to make a denim skirt. You can use a normal pencil skirt that fits you and you can make modifications. I think I can't be here. The mosquitoes are just too much. I'm gonna move myself somewhere else. <laughs> okay, I am not under the trees. <laughs> the trees are over there. I'm hoping I can get through the next couple of minutes without being attacked. Uh, just so many mosquitoes you wouldn't know. Anyway, back to the skirt. Um, I, what you are going to see in the video that I'm going to show you and what I've like compiled of the process is um, the Murphy pattern, of course, for wovens, I use a size 50. That is my size in their size range, European sizing. And I've transferred that pattern onto just a paper, you know, because I'm going to scribble all over it. And I'm going to draft jean uh, style pockets, you know, the ones at the top with the curve and um, a yoke at the back that is going to eliminate the back darts on the skirt. Um, I'm keeping the same curved waistband we've already drafted in the Murphy skill builder that I was um, showing you last month. So if you haven't watched that, you can go ahead and watch that. I'll link it down below. I've made a whole playlist of the Murphy skill builder series sort of thing. <laughs> so I've used that curved waistband only I've given it a seam allowance in the middle because I'm using a zipper in the middle you know so it's not on the fold but anyway all those things you're going to see some of the process and then I'll be right back to show you the skirt so I've transferred my basic uh, skirt block onto more paper because I'm going to chop this up in a way um, here we see the back piece and the front piece you see both of them have darts there for the waist the back and the front now, because I want to add a pocket in the front and I want a more clean look in the front, I want to eliminate that dart. Um, lots of ways to do that, but my fast and easy way is to... Um, basically, you have two centimeters here on the top of your waist. Um, on the other side, you have another two. There's four centimeters I want to eliminate. So I'm going to just go and do it easy way and just eliminate one centimeter here from the hip curve on the side on both pattern pieces. So from the side there, four inches, one, two, three, four, ten centimeters. I'm gonna mark a dot and unite there. And I'm gonna do the same with the other side. This is gonna, gonna be my new curve on the side there, new curve on the side. I've managed to take away from the top, from the waist, the same amount of volume I would have had with that dart. So I'm just gonna trim that off. So now let's pretend that this dart is not there. It's not there anymore. I'm gonna go ahead and now um, draw a pocket here for the front, similar to jeans. I'm going to eyeball from the waist down four centimeters. So I'm gonna put a dot there. And then inwards, um, let me see, 10 centimeters. So from that point there inwards, 10 centimeters. And I'm gonna mark a little dot there. I'm just going to freehand draw a curve here like this. Oh, that is going to be my pocket opening here for the side. I'm going to just draw here um, a pocket piece. So 
So probably uh, 14 centimeters down. I'm gonna try and find the curve here. So you see these measurements are not exact. I am just playing around. I don't want my pocket to be that deep either. And I want the pocket to reach all the center of the skirt. Now on the, on the center here, I'm gonna have a zipper. So when I zip up, I'm gonna have a lining piece behind it that is going to be a pocket too and provide a lot of support on the tummy area. I'm gonna go and get another piece of paper and I'm gonna copy this piece. this part here so it's identical and I'm gonna mark my pocket piece as well so I'm going to have two identical pieces uh, one is the pocket lining and the other one is the pocket that goes on the back so I'm going to make this my pocket lining, so I'm going to cut off this. I'm going to do the same on my skirt piece. So this is the lining. And then this is going to be my pocket piece that goes to the back. Here you can see all my pieces that I've created to make these pockets on the front. Um, you can see that they take the same shape of the skirt because I want them to carry across the whole front. Um, that way you have pockets that don't flip, that don't move, they don't go anywhere, they're very comfortable to wear. So the lining has the same shape as the curve of the pocket I drafted for the skirt, right? This is the one that you sew here and then you flip under. But then you have your piece that goes on the back and you need this part here to be of your same fabric, of the main fabric. So I'm going to mark maybe about there and about there. I'm just eyeballing this and I'm going to draw a curve there. So this shape here, I'm going to cut that piece out of the same fabric as my main and I'm going to sew that onto this piece, another lining piece, you know, to create more stability and those will go under there. I want from the side seams, you know, the hip, a yoke to go and form a sort of like a point in the middle at the back. So uh, eyeballing this, let's say um, from here, I'm going to go down four centimeters. Yeah, maybe five, let's say five. So I'm making a dot there. And then from the middle down, let's say, let's go down eight centimeters. So I'm making a dot there. And now with my uh, ruler, I wanna do like a sort of like a curve there. I don't want it to be a straight line. So I'm gonna see what I can, I can do. Yeah, that's what I want. I want that curve. So just to curve and form a point here, I'm going to go ahead and mark this curve. Now I had already marked a grain line mark there because I knew that this was going to transform into a different pattern piece. So my grain line there marks the same grain line as the skirt. So now I'm going to chop this off. Um, this will be the bottom piece of my back skirt. I, you can take that amount. How much does it measure? It's one centimeter. I can measure one centimeter over here. 
and just eliminate that like this yeah let's do that there you go gone so I've eliminated the dot from the side here so this dot does no longer exist okay put that aside now this was my top top piece there of my yoke that I need to get rid of the dot right get rid of that dot put these two together I know it looks messy and, and, and not that sharp, so I'm going to transfer this to another paper and clean up the lines. And I'm going to mark my grain line too. Okay, so here are all my pattern pieces. You can see my uh, back bottom bit of the skirt there. And this is the yoke. You can see that when I line them up, that waist that, that used to be here that I've eliminated got transferred off to here. So you're still getting the volume out of your bottom somehow. <laughs> so it's going to work. This is gonna be the, the yoke there. And then I have, um, my front pattern pieces. The front actually uh, will have nothing. It will just be one main front. You know, the line here I drew is just to mark where I decided my pocket was gonna be. I also wanted a back patch pocket. So I looked at uh, some ready to wear jeans and got a, a reference. I basically drew a square, 18 centimeters by 18 centimeters. Then I've drawn a line on the top two centimeters down. And this will be my allowance to do the little fold on the pocket like that. And then on the bottom corners, I've drawn a little square, two centimeters in, two centimeters. So it's a two centimeter square right on the corner. And that is going to help me draw the pocket. So from there to this part of the square there, I'm going to draw a line. And then from that same corner, I've already marked the middle there of this square. So there's nine centimeters this way. I'm going to draw that. These are all the pattern pieces for my heavily modified Murphy skirt. So I've used that as a block to create a denim skirt with some features. Here is the back. Um, I'm going to have a center seam there. Here is the yoke that's going to go on the top. There you can see uh, I've always marked my stitching lines and left my own seam allowance there. I'm going to place pockets on the back like that. The front. I've drawn that curve as you can see there that will have the pocket lining go flipping under it and then the other piece of the pocket is this with a piece of the main fabric stitched onto there so the skirt will be like up to there um, this is just my thing um, it, you can see you're ready to wear always has that and um, the pockets will reach up to here up to the, the edge of the center front um, or I've left a hefty seam allowance. They're four centimeters to accommodate for this zipper. Uh, the zipper is not as long as the skirt, so the zipper will be attached up to a some point and then it will have a front slit. That is the back curved waistband cut twice and the front curved waistband in four pieces actually because the seam allowance there is the same for that zipper there. So this is not on the fold either. Here is one of the front pieces of the skirt. You can see I've done the pocket there, it's top stitched and this is how it's gonna look after I've finished the pocket inside. I haven't finished it. <laughs> but you can see that the pocket piece has that piece of denim there, main fabric that is used for this area to look the same as the skirt, right? 
here we have the other part of the other front of the skirt it's just flipped over and you can see that these pockets match here I just need to uh, finish them overlock and uh, so and that will close the pocket when i'm done with the side seam that will close the pocket here on the side and when you put your hand in you're going to have all that pocket space that goes from hip up to the zipper itself so you're not going to have a pocket that's moving around i'm working on the back and so i've attached the yoke to the skirt there you can see the stitch line i've pressed it up first i'm going to do the top stitching there once i have that top stitching then done then I can attach the back, sew, overlock and top stitch that as well. I've overlocked the top of the pocket and then I've sewn a quarter of an inch in on every side there of the pocket and that's just to help me press it better. I find that the fabric just wants to press if there is a stitch line there. My front pockets are done, you can see there um, I have basted the pocket on there, basted it on the hip. And so I can put my hands in there, totally done. This is how it looks on the other side. I've overlocked and sewn it closed. It's closed there on the hip and on the top with basting stitches. And here you can see I've already folded in my seam allowance for me to put on my zipper. And that includes the pocket there. So <clears throat> I am now going to attach the zipper You've already seen me attach the zipper on my flower skirt, my cushion cover fabric, you know, it's the same here. You can have a sneak peek of my bias binding there. I'm doing the exact same technique, only the difference is this is not a double-ended uh, zipper, so it doesn't open at the bottom. And it has that flappy bit there that's super annoying that I had to fold up as much as I could so that it wouldn't be visible on the right side so that is the solution i came up with for my zipper problem i just didn't have the right zipper here is the back of the skirt it's still quite wrinkled i haven't pressed it but you can see the top stitch on the center back and i've top stitched the yoke as well you can see it's got shape and it's because <clears throat> i've eliminated the darts there but the darts have gone onto the side and that is why you can see that there's going to be space for my bottom there underneath because I'm not flat at the back. Now here you can see that my pockets have been sort of top stitched already. I have done the top, I have folded them in, pressed them and then I've done one row of top stitching at a quarter inch from the edge and the only one that's going to actually hold the pockets onto my skirt is going to be the edge stitch that I'm going to do now with the top stitching thread. I don't put things in my pockets. I don't need them to be extra secure. Like I'm not going to be putting things in there. So I just find it easier that way. I just do an edge stitch and that's what holds it to the skirt. My front skirt is completed. <clears throat> my back skirt is completed. So I'm just going to put them right sides together. Um, I'm going to pin the side seams so I can try it on and adjust anything. Here I'm trying it on. You can see at the bottom of the skirt at the front there's no mitered corners. I've got the side seams pinned. At the hip area it is a little bit tight because of the extra bulk of the pockets and this denim is thick so I've let it out a little bit. I'm going to taper in the leg a tiny little bit as well. The same as I did with the flower print skirt that I showed you a few days ago but uh, overall I'm happy. After doing all the tweaks and fit adjustments um, I didn't change the waist at any point. I sewed on my curved waistband and now I'm doing the finishing touch with an edge stitch foot just top stitching all the way around. Okay so being out here is nice for you because you get to see all the green but not very nice for me let's put it that way I'm just like ha ha anyway here is my skirt. I am super proud of it. It's a legit denim skirt, like the ones you would find in a shop. I really like the denim. It's, um, I don't know if you can see, it's really nice. Uh, I've top stitched with regular golden thread. I don't have special top stitching thread. I sew the whole thing with a thick needle, um, number 100. Uh, I think that's a 16, yeah, 16, 100. That is what I use on denim and I'm fine with it. And I just increase the stitch length to 3.5 when I'm doing some top stitching. Um, look at the zipper there. And I use this little shiny button I stole from one of my mom's jackets. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm getting bitten right here. I can feel it. 
Anyway, I've used that button there. Um, you can see my long zipper there. I had a bit of issues because the only zipper I had in navy was a regular zipper. It wasn't an open-ended zipper. So when I open this, it stops right there. But those zippers have that thing, you know, that I had to fold back. And I mean, I folded it back. No one's going to know. I, there was no way I could have gotten the correct zipper for this. Um, here are the curved pockets right there, like jean style, you know, with the cowboy print lining in there. Uh, the yoke turned out nicely, top stitch, the back patch pockets that I just drafted, um, and you saw how I did that. Um, now, the distance from the middle to here, what I like at least is like four and a half to five centimeters. And then I just place it this parallel to the yoke so that they are a bit slanted. But I mean, pocket placement is always a personal preference. Some people preach that the pocket has to be parallel to the middle seam, like this. I just don't like how that looks on me that much. Anyway, I'm going to show you the inside. Um, now, my inside finishing, my inside finishing is dedicated to Natida. <laughs> natural dane we're always chatting about nice spice binding and i'm always like no no i can't i can't be bothered but that has changed because i have a bias tape maker now so i can actually make some and i use the same fabric that i use for the lining of the pockets to make lots of bias tape so this is an um, alexander henry cotton in a cowboy print okay let's just show you away mosquitoes so yeah I've put that all over the waistband and I finished the inside there, uh, the, all that seam allowance, I finished it like that. Super nice. You can see the zipper in there. So you can see that the pocket reaches all the way to the front. It's like all the way here. So you're not going to have pockets that are shifting and coming out and being super uncomfortable. And it also gives you a bit of tummy support. <laughs> always needed always needed so because this is a thicker denim um, the skirt is a bit more tight than I would like but I'm just gonna leave it I'm gonna leave it like that because I am losing a few pounds um, so it'll be fine it's fine it's totally wearable and it's a shame no one ever gets to see these pockets because I don't tuck in <laughs> so yeah have a look at some pictures So I really like this. I'm super proud of it. I mean, it looks better than store-bought and because it fits me, it fits me really well. And it's got the zipper I wanted. It's got all the features I wanted and it makes me feel really good that I created this just from a basic, basic skirt pattern that, you know, would be like your block. So I'm super excited about what this pattern can bring and I hope you guys take the plunge as well and then try to make something special with just a few modifications to your skirt block you can achieve wonderful things. Anyway, that is all from me now. Have a nice time sewing. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the like if you like this video and um, the bell so you don't miss when I upload. You don't miss a sewing and fit tip with me. Bye, have fun.